In this tutorial, we'll be discussing some of the other domain administration options available in your IceWorp demo domain with your domain admin account. When logged into the IceWorp web admin, under the settings tab, you'll find several other settings you can configure for the domain. The limits tab allows you to enforce max message size and max account mailbox size for accounts within the domain, and also the send out limits per day in number of messages and in data transfer in a 24-hour period. You can set services for the domain, such as instant messaging, VoIP, FTP. By default, everything in your IceWip demo domain is fully functional, but when you license the product upon purchase, you can pick and choose exactly which features or modules you want for users within your system, and you can configure that access to those features from the user level or the domain level. The Options tab allows you to specify custom headers or footers for message on the messages on the domain. And you can also decide what to do with unknown email. You can decide to reject that, forward to a catch-all, which can be specified here, and also copy the administrator on any, any of those actions. Alias allows you to specify aliases for this domain for forwards. You can configure the use of DKIM to help with your deliverability of messages from your domain to other remote servers. And you can specify domain level rules. The Statistics tab allows you to track utilization on the domain. You'll see a list here of all users, including groups and mailing list, and then stats for those users. Received, sent, data transfer, and other things such as last login or creation date for the account. These allow you to get a quick glimpse of activity on the server and see what's going on with all your users. As a full system administrator, you have much more options, much more configuration availability at the IceWorp server. Your domain admin account only has domain access rights. When you download the full product, you'll be able to utilize and see what you can do with a full system administrator account.